Yo guys, Red Dragon Star here. In this video, I will show you guys how to find jump hack. Uh, basically, what it does is uh, the jump distance, uh, and I will also show you how to do um, auto jump, right? So that um, if you need to do some far distances in Genshin Impact, because this is a tutorial for Genshin Impact. If you need to do some far distances, you can just use auto jump, and you will automatically jump and yeah get wherever you want quite fast without the need of using speed hack because speed hack you cannot use in this game not the integrated form of game guardian you cannot use it um, so you have to find your own speed hack for this game uh, in one of my videos i explained um, how to find speed hack for any game so you have to watch one of those videos if you want to find this value on your own but it, here anyway i'm showing you the value um, for the sake of the tutorial so yeah first we look for the speed tag value which I, which I already have and we're gonna use it to slow down our action so that we have more time to uh, find the value of interest otherwise it won't be possible without speed tag it's just not possible things are going too fast and you won't have the time to do what you need to do so yeah here we go this is a region CA, remember please, be careful. So yeah, now we have this value for slow down or speed, let's just do this, we're going to remove this one, we change region, the range to anonymous, okay, so we slow down, put it to 0 0.0.1, yeah, why am I even using the action button? doesn't make sense let's just get rid of this action otherwise we are <laughs> one year away okay so we slow down and you only start to do what you need to do when you press the jump button so okay so it's jumping you go to unknown and float voila you go decreased as long as it's jumping you go on decreased 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 See, you cannot do this if if you are running on normal speed. It's just not possible. Increase. Jump hack here in this game works um, in, a, in, a, in a circuit logic. The problem is we cannot just... Um, we can't just uh, look for jump hack uh, directly. Uh, because actually the jump distance which we need is actually um, calculated. So it's always changing. Uh, through x-ray basically okay so look we reach the ground and you press increased and now you go back on decreased so i hope you notice there are two um, methods like there are two things we need to do during the jump so when your character goes up um, so basically when your character is away from the ground you press decrease and the moment it touch the ground you press increase and then you do decrease again okay so we do decrease because the jump is still happening the value so negative let's just keep doing we put it back to normal i believe actually this was the value here that we oh i i think i selected one so yeah um the animation is finished so we do changed and now unchanged okay because animation is finished okay so now let's continue let's continue let's um slow down again see it one and let's do the jump again and now we need to know that the um the decrease is happening again so we do decrease 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 you just keep doing it look we haven't reached the floor yet we reached the max of the jump but the max height of the jump but it doesn't change anything ah uh, look here we have one value left so yeah, we can put the speed back to normal 
and look what happened with the value so it's uh, minus one so we have to go to the address um this is our value Let's just select all of it go to float here we go so look let's just illustrate this is a normal jump all right this is a normal jump Let's freeze it because you need to freeze the value and that's why it's hard to find because a value that's like between 0 0.7 like or 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.9 it's it's hard to find definitely if it is um, going back to its original value even after you change it because you cannot just freeze values like this because it's gonna go crash well let's see now here we go here we have our beautiful jump distance because what's important for sure is like trying to understand the value, uh, what exactly we're doing, and use that understanding on other games. And that's very important to understand, actually. And it is very possible that this value is actually an X-ray that calculates like the the distance between you and the object bet, uh, in front of you, so that it can actually calculate that jump. It's a, it's, a, it's a very interesting uh, matter, but perhaps I, I'm never going to say I'm, I'm never 100% right, all right? I never say I'm 100%. Sometimes it's 99, other times I can just be wrong. But um, I showed you how to find it. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, so you always just freeze, and there you go. I kind of like this jump distance. You won't go any further because of the, of the time it takes for you um, for go up and go down. It just won't. Um, you just won't go any further. The the because of the height, you have a time. You have a timer, kind of. You can see it like that. And if it is that fast, you can only go that far. And about the auto jump, look at our beautiful value here. Let's put it to five, for example. And here we go. I'm not even touching any keys. All right. I'm not touching any keys. I'm just freezing it. And it's. It's going perfect. It just keep going. So we can to freeze this here. A good friend. And there we go. And I don't need to touch any button. I'm just relaxed. I just hold the... Basically, I do hold the, um, the joystick. But, uh, of course, I need, to, I need to put a direction. But I don't have to jump. I don't have to use this other um, quick roll. Um, whatever that function is. I don't know the name of it. Uh, I don't need to use this for example um, let me put this down for a moment I don't need to use this all the time because um, I'm only limited I only have that amount of that much of energy that I can use so I just prefer to use this this jump and I'm just fine and if I want to fight enemies I just um, I just unfreeze this uh, I jump when I want to. Uh, I'm gonna beat some guys here. I think it was here. Yeah, here they are. I think. I think they are here. No, they are not. They should be up here, maybe. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Oops. Okay, that one almost killed me. Interesting. So yeah, um, there's another thing I wanted to show you. Uh, let's wait with the fight. So when I use different character, the gem doesn't work anymore. So that's where group search is going to be very efficient. And offsets. Specifically offsets, actually. So I'm going to use this group search as an example. Uh, this value, sorry, as an example. So here we have our jump. Let's, uh, our auto jump. Let's just keep... Let's just remind that. And here... We have our jump distance. Distance. <laughs> distance. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. We have to go to the address. Uh, you select this value. I, I tell you to select this one because all of all those values, actually this one is the most unique. It's just very unique because 
uh, the, it's like I don't know how to explain it, but uh, for all the time I've been using Game Guardian, this value you don't really have to often, so it's already unique and it's like a part of it's like a set. So yeah, this one we already saved. This one we also already saved. So I saved this one as well. Float. Here we go. We select and do group search. Let's remove this. This is the value we just copied. Let's see how many results we get. Oh yeah, my, my mistake. Uh, one thing. Uh, remember that this value is always changing actually. It's always changing. Like for whatever. Um, no, my character is dead, but this value always changes. I think you have seen it. Um, so because before it was like 0 0.7 and also uh, 0 0.8 and we actually yeah so it, it keeps changing increasing decreasing uh, I guess that's kind of what x-ray does um, so we need to uh, we don't need to include this value but this one only changes when we jump and this one I haven't seen any change yet um, I haven't seen any so um, that's also one of the reasons why I use this value so look those two uh, we are sure that they don't change as long we don't do anything uh, unnecessary. So we copy those. 21. We could also do a more easy way, but I want to um, I want to show you a, a more proper way, and not just ra rational. Okay, so we have two results now. Perhaps it's because we are using the other character, and we have this person here. Let's just test it out because maybe it's uh, another character but you never know. Okay so now it works for her as well. But um, there's something else that you want to know perhaps. Well, I'm not that far in this game uh, that I can actually prove it to you or show it to you um, in this video but you don't want to always do the group search again for each character that pops up. All right. So we do something else. Uh, because imagine if you um, unlock, I think it's unlocking in this game, unlock a new character, you're going to have to do the group search again. And if you are making scripts, this is totally annoying. So we can use this value because, look, ah, we can ah, we can test it out if this value changes. So let's put our speed a bit slow. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Since my character is dead, we just delete those values. My, character, my, my other character died anyway, and we just used the, the, the values of, of the girl, alright. Let's save it here, and this one as well. So. Okay, so, uh, let's see if um, this value actually changed. From this one, we already know that it changed when we jump, alright, so that's nothing new. But we don't know about this one, so we jump, and the value this value stays the same so it means uh, already in this case that it is a good group search that we have so we can actually just copy this value and calculate the offset between the jump distance and this value the, the jump distance value and this one we calculate the offset which is c in hex so um, let's see Okay, so just for you to know, C is like 12 in decimal, it, it kind of saves you some some thinking actually. My game guardian was going slow. So yeah, so now what we do is, we just do directly the search. And here we go. Okay. We just do some um, change just for sure, like... Let me put the, the speed back to normal. And we delete all the values here, right? Just make sure that everything is unfrozen. Actually, it doesn't matter. As the moment the, the value is out of the save list, it, um, it unfreezes automatically. So, I, I don't like to lag. It's because of the recording. Okay. Let's select this value so that we don't delete it by accident or something. Um, and now, invert selection. Um, so this value gets unselected and now we use the offset that we copied so yeah it was C uh, the offset was C but because the value of the jump is higher 
than the value that we're going to use as base address as base address, uh, as base address for the offset you can see here here is our base address and here is our offset so we have to use minus c and not just c because otherwise you would end up here okay so offset minus c and just to keep it clean you use float make sure hex is unlocked because you are using hex press ok and here we go it's suspicious that we have this kind of values because they could cause crash that's why we actually have to find this value um, of interest um, at the start of the game um, it would be more efficient and it reduce the chance on crashing but keep in mind that all those values you see here normally are all from different characters so the moment your character is installed you can just um, already freeze everything um, um, the moment your character is installed and you already freeze the values here your character will automatically have the jump um, distance hack and if you want also the auto jump if you want here we go there we go um, voila yeah so my game just crashed uh, because I was closely um, editing all those values um, at the later stage of the game if we edited the values at the start of the game uh, we wouldn't have this crash because it would be more accurate and we wouldn't have these dodgy values I call them dodgy because they are dodgy um, so let's let's do this again uh, a bit more efficient and with now we already understand the whole process so we don't need to do any um, we don't need to do any speed search or something like this so yeah what did you learn you learned that like for find a uh, jump value in this game you actually um, need to jump and as long you are in the air so basically as long you are not touching the ground you press decrease and the moment you touch the ground you press increase and then decrease again because uh, the value uh, basically um, resets back um, to an original state uh, when you touch the ground and then from that original state it decreases again because the animation uh, I believe it's because of the animation is still continuing and as long the animation is still in process this value stays decreasing all right but it had it needed something to set that's that's actually uh, pretty much what happened so yeah, here we go now we have more values huh? 11 11 values I wish I could die to just um, see how it's gonna work just just die I find dying harder on this game than actually staying alive There we go. Let's just mm, let's see. Huh? I don't know what this value is. Let's just let's just see what it, it should work. Okay, it works. It works for this one. Let's just get ourselves and see if it works for the other character as well. So we directly used. Um, we directly did our search and directly use offset. Um, very simple. Um, and we then we won't have to search, I guess, for the for um, the character each time. Okay, so character one died. Here we go, the character two. I only have twenty seven lives. Yeah, so it works as well. Here you see. You see, we don't need to search again each time. We just fine. Well, that's all. That's it, guys, for um, for um, jump teleport, basically jump distance. Let's just call it jump distance and uh, auto jump. Have a nice day, guys. Oh, guys, by the way, I will uh, maybe I put this in a script uh, with others, but I'm not sure. But if you are also a script maker and you can put this in your script, uh, don't worry, you can do it. Um, at, the, at the end of the day the value is here if you have any questions you can ask in the game guardian forum or if you want the game to cheat or like want to start making your own scripts ask in the game guardian forum if you just want to have a nice talk join the discord server um, so yeah guys have a nice day Bye.